some cats reinvented the wheel. <laughs> a company, Arizona-based startup, developed a new type of wheel that ditches the need for pollutive rubber tires, you know. And this is kind of a, a general deep thing, but I've talked about this on the Discord with a couple, with a couple people. And it's been brought up <laughs> in my head. I was thinking short-term clips versus long-term clips. It's funny. Long-term, long-form podcast versus little five-second things of the internet. People like. Um, but I was thinking people don't have a long-term mindset for a lot of things, especially the surroundings of, of their living so there's not too much incentive for people to want to make changes to climate things in in the way of making new materials for things or or new processes for for systems that are done for people and this is kind of a thing where it's like oh because you don't have a lot of people being like, oh, man, I don't care about anyone else besides me and potentially my family. Maybe, maybe it changes uh, once you got some family involved, but uh, a lot of younger people be like, all right, I'm not going to be alive by the time the world is hot and unbearable to live in and ocean things are polluted and people throw out trash every two seconds uh, to be thrown into the water uh, and you know people are like oh whatever dude hasn't hasn't done anything to me yet and i'm just you know true but uh the the incentive for for humans to either see the compounding effect detrimentally that has on their family's future perhaps you have a family your family's gonna gonna be in a different world uh, just, you know, not even talking about America losing reins on the world. Uh, but things like a tire, <laughs> which apparently is uh, pollutive. Uh, not a lot of companies are, you know, thinking about that. You have Tesla, they say, moving towards an airless tire on its Model 3. But none of us succeeded so far with trying to create a new tire. So you know, people think, like, why would I create a new tire? Uh, you know, it's bad somehow. Air suspension wheel, brainchild of serial inventor and structural dynamic engineer Dr. Zoltan Kameni, patented air suspension wheel, constructed mostly of steel, in wheel pneumatic suspension, they're cylinders, <laughs> uh, $30 billion per year, focused on OTR mining. And this article didn't define what OTR is for me. I think it's rubber tires. So $30 billion a year for rubber tires. A typical 13,000 pound tire can cost up to $75,000 for a useful lifetime of only six to nine months. That's a large expense for a product that does not last, according to the company. On the other hand, the ASW lasts as long as the vehicle itself and therefore saves up to 60% in costs. And I think they said you could recycle it somehow. Things like that. You spend a lot of money for things that last not a long time. And I've said it on the podcast before, but I think that is largely related to cultural norms. Um, I think just humans as a general right now, I don't know if there's a society at large that is like, yeah, we got to really, really think about future, future. Um, China has like, like economic plans for like a hundred years out. And I'm sure other countries do as well. But even that, you know, you've seen China pollution via the media, at least. I've never been in China. I can't say too much. I've barely been outside of three states in the United States. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, we were talking about how someone wanted a, a system that was like you know, governor-based. They're saying, what does the president know over in, in D.C. about Oregon, right? And... If that's the same mindset <laughs> and you say, well, then how do you know about other countries and what is actually true about that if you don't go there? 
if you if you if you say that you can't build a solid uh, decision in your mind about a place through other people and media, something to think about. If if a president can't understand a state, then obviously a citizen can't understand a country far away if it's the same one to one mindset. Solid argument, perhaps. Charles Hostinson of uh, Cardano cryptocurrency, <laughs> LOL, um, was talking about incentives for that and how that asset class might work better in skewing people's incentives towards a future that they cannot see very easily. So try to balance as much as you can as uh, short term optimization for yourself and, and making the longer term incentive also exist in that in that same space. I think it's it's a wise thing to think about. Because um, one day it's uh, you know, one day you wake up after 11 months of doing ab exercises and you wake up after not doing them, you have a little bit of a belly. And that's my analogy for not very cognizant of companies and people. And it, it always goes down to the individual, you know? If you can't care enough to put some plastic in a recycle bin, how do you, how do you scale that up from, from citizen to city to state to country to planet? Uh, but that's the tire industry, man. At this point, this company says, our plan is to expand our distribution network and really start taking the tire industry by storm. Companies like Caterpillar, Hitachi, or Volvo could end up as partners or clients in GACW's future. GACW is global air cylinder wheels. I think they said you could re recycle them. Yeah, after that, unlike so. Environmentally friendly, this steel wheel is as cost efficient as as this publication says. The ASW is engineered to have the same lifespan as the vehicle is as it's mounted on. Is that just like a general lifetime?